It is a different Timothy Leary, by the way. For the first time in a long time, he is not in jail. He is not a fugitive. He is not on parole. I beg your pardon? He doesn't have his microphone on? Thank you. And while I put his microphone on, would you please give a warm welcome to Dr. Timothy Leary. Let's hear it for him, folks. Anywhere. Beautiful. I hear a few boos out there. Huh? Do you still use that stuff? Do you use the drugs and all that stuff anymore? Forgive this impertinence, but I don't have a lot of time, and I want to get right to it, Doc. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, there are two questions that people always ask me. One, do you still take illegal drugs? And another question, they ask it or they wonder, well, uh... Do you ever give the answer to the question? Yeah, wait a minute. The second question goes with it. Uh, you know, are you really sane or are you far out? And, uh, yeah. yeah. Are you well, worked out? I have uh, one ten? answer to both. Yeah. I'd be crazy if I told you whether I took drugs or not. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now, you've got to be uh, very kind to uh, Tom and I because we both came in on the red eye last night. You've been on the red eye for years, uh, too. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, Tom, we should have flown United uh, because they, they showed Arthur on uh, United Airlines. Do you, you want to know how it came out? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yours worked all right, yeah. mine did not. Huh? You know, uh, Arthur is a, a drug abuse movie because Dudley Moore is uh, bombed on uh, alcohol all through the movie. Uh, and the, uh, the stewardesses were pouring out a lot of drinks in the first class, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is this part of the nightclub act? <laughs> Do the little lines that you're doing I'm right now? trying it out here if we oh, because if this is it, <laughs> I'd go back to LSD. No, just kidding. Uh, I'm just going around. <laughs> Do you ever look back and, and wish maybe that you hadn't done some of the things that you did? Were there any negatives along the way, Tim, in, 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 in being the so-called drug guru? Why, sure. Uh, you got to look at it as an enormous Super Bowl game for about 10 years in which we were out there trying to push things forward and we were fighting the Nixon-Liddy team. So there are a lot of plays that uh, we call that uh, didn't work. <laughs> yeah. But we won in the end. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you ever think about all the kids whose lives got messed up because maybe they listened to Timothy Leary? And I don't mean to get down or really philosophical mm -hmm. here, but a lot of young people saw you as a leader mm -hmm. and maybe you sent them down the wrong path. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, Doc? Well, uh... I regret any moment of pain that anyone suffered during the 60s, either by taking drugs or not taking drugs. Uh, you have to keep score on these things. Um, I believe that uh, LSD is the safest recreational thing around, safer than jogging or skiing. Uh, I regret very much that uh, there have been some accidents. And the reason for any accidents is because they didn't listen to what we were saying. We were not advocating LSD. We were telling them, uh, it's your brain. Your brain's perfect. Uh, be very careful what you put in your brain. Know what you're doing. And if people read my books and listened to what we were really saying, uh, be careful, always have a guide, uh, don't get up there high unless you've got uh, the equipment and the ability to get back down. Uh, uh, but still, I, I think there were fewer casualties from drugs in the 60s than from anything else was going on. But uh, you have to keep score there. Mm -hmm. Except that every once in a while when I read stories about kids who really get in trouble, mm -hmm. I want to go into all the head shops, you know, and bust all that crap up mm -hmm. in there. I don't think they should sell that to kids, you know, and, uh, and uh, uh, expose them to things that they're not emotionally or mentally ready for. And I sometimes think there were a lot of people listening to you that might not have been emotionally ready or physically ready for the experiences that you were talking about, and maybe they jumped a little bit too quickly. As in my generation, a lot of us went for the booze too quickly. Yeah. I personally did not, but <laughs> some people did. So. <laughs> Just a little vodka with breakfast. That's that's uh, that's yeah. uh, yeah. What was your question? No, it was no question. No, it was just a statement of fact that sometimes I think maybe some people might have listened to you uh, who should have been reading Little Red Riding Hood or something like that. Yeah, now, uh, you see, there's, but a, that's past there's thing, a real right? problem here about drugs uh, because, as I see it... Uh, Wait, they're giving me the wave to commercial. Okay. Remember, drugs, we're on that subject. We're on drugs. Okay. No, we're not we're on not drugs. On, we're not on drugs. <laughs> we'll be right back with Timmy Delary after these announcements. <laughs> Uh, Timothy Leary will be appearing at the bottom line starting tomorrow night here in New York. You were going to say something about drugs, which I hope was profound and sensible. <laughs> uh, drug education is what's needed in this country. Scientific facts about... Uh, I think that 99% pe of people misuse drugs, including alcohol, nicotine, and so forth. And if we told the precise truth and kind of made fun of misuse of drugs, I think that would be the, the, uh, the way to 
deal with the drug problem. I'd like to take a minute, Tom, since this is my first time in New York in a long time, since, since the death of John Lennon, to pay tribute to John and Yoko. I think that in the 21st century, as we look back on the wild and woolly 20th century, I think the legend of John and Yoko uh, is going to stand out as something great. They, the fusion, you know, an, uh, an oriental woman and a, a western man, an upper class woman and a working class boy. Uh, Yoko was 50s, John was 60s. Uh, that linkage and partnership, my wife Barbara and I kind of hold it as a model. We try to do it too, and I think there are millions of people that are going to benefit from what they did. Uh, so. Here, here. Hello, Yoko. <laughs> what would have happened to Timothy Leary if he never would have gotten involved with the culture of the 1960s? What do you think you'd be like today, and how would you be different? Well, you know, I went to West Point, and... Uh, I know. Didn't stay long, though. <laughs> I might be on the Joint Chiefs of Staff right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. Yeah. <laughs> You know, one of the things I'm doing now, the reason I'm here on this program is because uh, I'm going on a college uh, tour with a lecture group no, called that's, The reason that you're not here is because you're going on a college tour. The reason why I'm here... No, but you're not on not... this program because you're going on a college tour. You're well, here to talk to Tom. I know, but I'm the folks I'm going to tell you... You're not here because you're I'm, going on a college tour. I'm here tour. to tell you I'm going to be debating Gordon Liddy. How about that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Will you salute well, Gordon when you get up on stage? Last time or? I saw Gordon Liddy, he busted into my bedroom with 24 state troopers. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Hi, Gordon. What, what do you want to do in there with all those troopers? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have a little fun with Gordon. Uh-huh. <laughs> So the reason you're on this show tonight is because of your college tour, as you say. I want to tell people about this, and uh, college students all over the country should know that if you want to stir up some excitement and uh, get some shock waves moving through a university, uh, the Liddy Leary tour will be rolling the, in. The, the Liddy Leary tour. <laughs> the Leary of the Liddy tour and the Liddy of the... <laughs> oh, you're tired, Don. I know. It's been a long night here. Uh, how is the thing that you do at the bottom, is that different from the college lecture? Uh, actually, uh, uh, quick I give the same Just... lecture uh, in a nightclub as I do. But I tell you, some people think that it's a come down from Harvard University at a nightclub. There are very few Harvard professors that can go into a nightclub and keep them going for 90 minutes. So, That's uh, great. Yeah. That's great. Thank you for being here tonight, and uh, I may come down to the bottom line and see how you do down do there. It. Do they serve any drinks down there? They serve everything. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll be right back and tell you about tomorrow night after the night. Thank you. Thank you.